Have you ever been interested in what someone might take to a USPSA match or a tactical class? Welcome back to another episode of Manny Things, a channel where I bring you along with whatever I'm doing that I want to share with you. So today, we're going to go over what I take to a match in a class, the bone dry, what you need that I'm going to take. So. First off, most people will start with the handgun, but we're not going to start with that. We're going to actually start with the foundation that everything's going to be based off of, that your gun's going to go into what your mags are going to be on, and that is the belt. So right here, we have my USPSA carry optic slash production rig. If I was going to production, I would add another pouch or two, but let's just get to the belt. The belt is a Ghost USA belt, um, very comparable to the Double Alpha, the CR Speed belts. It's just a good inner, outer belt, um, very rigid and firm, holds up very well. I've had it for almost a year now and it's holding up fairly well. Um, next on the belt we have here is the newest addition to the belt is the Red Hill Tactical um, dual layer Kydex holster for a Gen 5 Glock 34-35 um, with the stainless steel retention screws and that is sitting on the Henry Holsters turbo drop in anodized black um, holster so far. Um, I'm going to have a separate review of this um, after I've got a little bit more testing done with it but I really like it so far. Smooth, consistent draws no holster flex when drawing on the turn um that very good holster um the drop very fine and i will put the gun into the holster you can see the butt of the gun is above the belt so we are legal there for that so and then on the other side we have also three ghost usa pouches the ghost 360 pouches i have them in the bullets out configuration here i like that i feel like i get a good purchase on it um your mileage may vary. You might like bullets forward. Um, I like bullets out because I can get more mag pouches or it feels like I can get more mag pouches or more space between them with bullets out and um, I've got no problems with that. So that is the belt. Now that we've got the foundation done, um, we could go over the handgun. Um, basic boring Glock 17 MOS Gen 5 with the front serrations and no weird cutout that the original Gen 5s had. So that's good. Um, it is holding a Trigicon RMR RMO6 with the CNH weapons uh, plate, the V3 plate. Uh, very solid uh, system. I've got over, I've just got this gun back in September. I've only got 3,000 rounds in it because I haven't been able to shoot um, life and now ammo shortages and whatnot. So yeah, um, there's that. Uh, it's a Glock 17. Um, holds up fairly well. And this is my carry optics gun and a, a gun I carry every day. So I trust this gun. It's been 100% reliable um, other than some uh, grip issues that I had. Um, but that was me, not the gun. So that's the gun. Along with the gun right now, um, I am using Magpul PMAG 21 rounders. Um, I really don't recommend these for competition or very serious uses like a duty but this is what I have. I had a bunch of these laying around from buying these on sales or whenever I go into a gun shop, I'd buy one just because I could always use another one just for training and whatnot. So for right now, that is what is going into the gun uh, until I can get some more OEM mags and some probably some Taylor Freelance base pads since they are very reasonably priced and get you a lot of bullets and they look sweet. So magazines for right now. Now that we've gotten through the the blaster and the belt um, we gotta talk about protection although that should have been really first because being safe and protecting yourself is the most important thing so first thing I'm gonna say is wear a hat I always wear a hat to a match because it keeps the Sun off your face um, this hat happens to be one that can I can mount a GoPro to um, really don't do that I did a I might do it for some diagnostic footage but I don't get much out of POV footage but I always wear a hat um, you could either wear a brimmed hat or a baseball cap or float your boat. Um, so wear a hat because it gets sunny out there. Um, but I did just switch to the Zombie Nation or Fanboy Club of Hunter's HD Golds. Um, I've had some time behind these and I really like them. Very nice. Uh, these are uh, prescription glasses. 
I sent uh, my prescription like I did in that other video. I said, sent my prescription to Brian and his crew down there in Alabama at Hunter's HD Gold. I got my glasses made. Um, I really like them. I really like them. So these are what I shoot in. I don't shoot anything else right now because these are just that good for the red dot and just making your uh, vision better. So there's that. And then for Ear Pro, I used to use the Howard Light Impact Sports. Like everybody's seen, uh, thrashed them, beat them up. I don't like compression. I, I wear glasses all day. I don't like the compression on my ears and my temple. So wearing earmuffs all day didn't cut it for me. So due to my buddy Red's Dot giving me, um, he gave me a, a recommendation and I'm like, they're not that expensive. They're about 130 bucks, which is kind of pricey, but for in-ear electronic hearing protection, that's really cheap. And these are really nice. These are the 3M Peltor EEP 100s. They are rechargeable by USB, and I also took his advice and I did get the skull screw tips for these. So, like, um, about a 28 decibel reduction. So that's pretty good, especially for an electronic hearing pro. And these just go back in the case and they can charge. So, very worth it, and I recommend these highly. I've played with these out at the range and at home. Flawless. So there you have it guys, that's my nitty gritty, the basics of what I'm ever going to take to a USPSA match or a class. Um, the next video I'm going to actually go through my whole range bag for you guys, show there's been some updates since that original video came out um, about my range bag. So we're going to go through that, but just just let you know, uh, I shoot out a new video every single week, or I try to. Um, hit that like button if you like the video, hit subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell so you know when I put out that new video. Um, I really appreciate the support, guys. Until next time, remember, get out and do the things.